friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cat track with posterior sinicia from 2 o'clock to 10 o'clock so 8 o'clock hours of posterior sinicia and there is a fibrous band in this area along the pupillary border i have made the main incision and the posterior aspect of the limbus at 10.30 o'clock this is a side port at 8 o'clock and this is another side port at around 2 o'clock so two side ports and on main wound now I inject an air bubble and then inject tripe and blue dye I have to inject tripe and blue dye behind the iris in this case so I go behind the iris and inject some dye now I go through the left side port and inject some dye behind the iris on the right side what will happen the capsule will be stained uniformly in the peripheral part where I will do the rexis. Otherwise the dye will stain the only the central part. And now I wash the dye out with the 23G Simco and with the Simco itself I separate the iris from the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens so the sinicia is broken now I want to remove the fibrous band from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock so I have injected some visco 2% SPMC now with the help of the uterator forceps I hold try to hold the fibrous band at 2 o'clock but I was not successful yes in all your maneuvers during surgery you will not be successful but we have to keep trying so here from 10 o'clock I have been able to hold the fibrous band I am um, separating it detaching it from the iris and have removed it see how thick it is and it was holding the iris holding the pupillary margin there is some little bleeding and it will stop immediately and now it will be easier to remove to apply some people expansion device like Maligan ring, Canabrava ring or B hex people expander. B hex A means Vatacharji hexagonal. B for Vatacharji, hex for hexagonal. This is a people expansion device invented by Dr. Suvan Bhattacharji of India and it is hexagonal in shape and the people takes beautiful hexagonal shape with this device this is a single plane device based on the concept that the iris can go above and down this device it has got notches and flanges I have hold one flange taken the device into the and I have taken the device completely into the anterior chamber and have tucked the leading flange centered at 5 o'clock now I hold the flange centered at 1 o'clock and tuck this flange alternate flanges are tucked now I go through the left side foot use my non-dominant left hand and tuck the flange So this is 
totally unedited portion of the surgery. It takes this much time for, for application of VHEX people expansion device. The people has dilated to about 5.5 millimeter and we can do a rexis of about five minutes. Let's see what happens. In this case, I'm not able to pierce the capsule. Why? You can see the whitish area at the center of the anterior capsule. So the anterior capsule is fibrosed. So I have to go beyond this whitish area toward the periphery and make a puncture here and yes I have been able to make a gap between the healthy capsule and this fibrous plaque. Now my plan is to remove only the plaque inferiorly I cannot see the plaque but I hope that this plaque will not extend to far periphery and I will be able to remove it and yes I have been able to remove the plaque and the rexis is the size of this plaque so this is a thick fibrous plaque involving the anterior capsule let us see how big is this fibrous plaque. I have spread it over the cornea. Now I have asked for a caliper and here it is. I am opening the caliper and it is of this size. The, this is about 4 millimeter. So the fibrous plaque is about 4 millimeter. So the size of the rexis is not a more than 5 millimeter. Now I do some hydro dissection the 27G cannula and BSS and I find that the cataract is white but it is very soft so I am trying to apply my technique of dividing such soft cataracts with the hydro cannula itself and a chopper whether it is successful or not but it will help in emulsifying the nuclear mass the lens mass now I introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece bevel down we have to do it somehow this is dish technique uh, just with the bevel down I apply some vacuum and some lens matter comes I'm very cautious as soon as the lens matter tumbles the bevel is up so that I don't catch the posterior capsule so friends we have to develop our skills to such level that safety is in our hands. Please develop your surgical skills to such a level that you be very safe for your patients. Always remember that you are a god to your patient and the patient has put all of his or her faith unto you. So you must do justice to total faith of the patient. Unless the patient puts all his faith unto you,
the patient will not lie down on the operation table and he or she will not allow you to make a single incision in his or her eye. Please do justice to the faith of the patient. By this time, cortex has been removed by a 23Z Simco. And now, in this case, we have to implant an interocular lens on my point. You can don't see any red reflex in this case, rather a black reflex. Probably, most likely, when I injected tripan blue dye underneath the iris, some dye went through the zonule into the vitreous and that's why I don't get any red glow. We did ultrasonography B scan in this case. There is no echogenic reflex in the vitreous and the retina is attached all around. So by this time the interocular lens has been placed in the capsula bag and now I'm going to remove the B-hex people expansion device. Pull the device centrally, go up and then take it peripherally. If needed, hold the other flange above the iris and place the device over the iris and just pull it out. It is so simple. Yes, removal of this device is simpler than application of this device. You don't need any injector system to apply or to remove this people expander. I am a big fan of this device. I am not a big fan of the inventor. I am a big fan of this device and I respect the inventor of this device and I am proud of him because he is from Kolkata, the biggest city of Eastern India. And now you can see around people. Why? Because there is no damage to sphincter pupillae. When we apply iris hooks, we tend to pull the iris hooks as much as possible and in that process we tear off some iris sphincter and people takes a shape which is not cosmetic. So the surgery is almost over by this time. Visco has been removed and now side ports have been closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. There should not be any viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber. They inform the anterior chamber nicely. And this is not the end of the case. You have to check all the wounds. You must check. There should not be any leakage of fluid from any wound. There should not be any leakage of BSS from any site. Thank you very very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please use a people expander in small people. It is very much safe for the patient safer than you are not using people expansion device thank you once again for your attention please be a very competent surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence